Hey folks, how you doing? I'm out here uh, gonna uh, seed this uh, small food plot at my brother's house. You see the, uh, right there, the uh, blind behind me and the big plots over there. It's growing up, I'm not sure what he's gonna do with that. If he's just gonna overseed it with winter eye like I'm gonna do here or what he's gonna do, but definitely need some uh, looking after. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. I think he may say something about tilling it up and then replanting it. But we're running out of time. It is getting close to the end of August. But uh, I'm gonna uh, see this, uh, I'm not sure what's actually in here now, but uh, I'm gonna put it with a uh, winter eye and um, hopefully that'll work out. Yeah, as you can see, it's drying out through here. I'm not sure what exactly is planted in here. I don't think it's winter eye. But we got some rain coming in later on this afternoon. We had some this morning and some yesterday, so it's kind of a good time to put it down on the ground. I was waiting for uh, the ground, I mean not the ground, but the vegetation to dry up a little bit before I threw it down so it wouldn't just stick to the vegetation and not hit the ground. But I'm gonna throw some seed out there and hope it'll germinate pretty quickly for it. I'm seeding that small food plot behind my brother's with that uh, winter rye, and I decided to come out across the road uh, where I saw that little buck where I was scouting out a place to put my um, my ground blind. And I'm coming back out here now, put a trail camera out. I'll watch this main trail here, see if I can see anything else coming through here, see if it's worth putting that ground blind through here. I'm not sure if I want to put it here or somewhere else yet, but uh, I'm gonna put a trail camera out here and uh, watch this run for a little while. Uh, it is almost September. September will be a, what next week, so uh, we're getting down to that time. So uh, get the trail cameras out, start fine tuning where you want them and who's around, and make sure you're not wasting your time. Especially in Maine, there's a lot of woods and not a lot of deer for how much woods there are. So get to start fine tuning where you want to hunt. And every year seems to be a little bit different, so you got to tweak it here and there. But it's part of the fun. So let me uh, put this trail camera out and I'll get you some footage out there where I'm putting it in uh, what I'm going to be looking at. Right there on that yellow birch with the trail camera. Watching down that run towards the four wheeler down there. Think about putting the ground blind inside here somewhere. Maybe in that open area right there, slightly tucked behind these trees or something. It's a fairly flat area right there, possibly. Or over there. And watch this area here. This little run coming through. The buck I saw was down in there, just a little ways further. But I don't see anything really, really fresh on this trail, so still not sold yet. We'll see what this trail camera tells me in about a month or so. I believe, like I said, that way is the bedding area. That's pretty thick right in there too, I would assume. But, and then this way goes towards an old abandoned home with some apple trees, and then just past that is a, a grown up blueberry field, so to speak. So it's potential feeding that way, bedding here, bedding down here. So that's my hypothesis so far. We'll see what happens. Again, I'll come check that camera a little bit. Don't have a lot of battery life on it, so hopefully it lasts. We shall see. Another thing I like to do, like I've probably told you before, is I like to put my cell phone right flush against the trail camera, roughly covering the lens and get an idea of actually what it's watching. It's a pretty uh, simple idea, especially if it's not a cell cam, you don't get a photo right off. 
so you can at least get an idea uh, if that's the area you want to be uh, watching. So I'm going to try that right now. <laughs> 